Hey, oh. <laughs> and uh, oh. What's up, you guys? My name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and wear designer, and I like to make things. Woo! <laughs> I don't know why I'm already being unhinged when I'm literally 0.1 seconds into this video. I have my brother knitting machine in front of me. Today we are going to be doing another knitting machine video. I'm going to be making this drop waist dress sketch. I am so excited. This has been in my iPad drafts for a minute. I'm actually making a crochet version right now. Here she is. Oh my god, it's so cute. But as you can imagine, it's taking me for motherfucking ever. Anyways, I'm crocheting a drop waist dress. I want to make one on my knitting machine. Without further ado, let's just get into it. Not to be chaotic, but this is the yarn we're going to be using for this project. I have like all these scraps that have been lying around. So I'm apparently going for a like blues and greens and reds and pinks like mermaidy like cool palette. So I'm going to throw these on the table really quick. I'm stressed out. Look at this. Girl. I've already cast it on my waist yarn. I'll show you guys. I actually originally started this video over here. But I quickly realized that sitting down and filming a knitting machine video was like literally so awkward and impossible. So I moved back to my kitchen, my classic kitchen area. The reason why I didn't want to film in here was because it's kind of messy. My boyfriend needs to do the dishes. <laughs> it's his dish day. So I kind of like hid everything strategically so you guys don't have to look at that. But like I said, I already cast it on and did my waist yarn for this project. So now I'm going to go in with the body yarn. Let's do it. And another thing. So I cast it on 58 stitches. So stitches 28 through 28 equals. 58 um is that correct wait 29 i think 29 stitches oh my god i'm dumb <laughs> Ooh, oh my god wait my flowers kind of match the like little color aesthetic vibe so i'm literally dumb and i actually need to cast on 29 stitches on each side so 58 stitches total for the bust to the hips part of the drop waist so i'm gonna pull this off and recast on and do my waist turn for the second time yeah <laughs> So as I said, I'm doing like the bodice part and I'm going to go in with my body yarn now, but I want to pick the color that is most flattering to my skin tone. <laughs> feel like that's hard to do because I'm literally pasty white, red undertones, acne everywhere mess. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to decide what color and I always want to go in with a bright pink. I love pink. We all know this, but I don't know that this is my truth. <laughs> And then there's also, oh, honestly, light pink, maybe? Is this kind of cute for me? Thoughts, comments, opinions. Actually, don't say anything rude. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go in with light pink, not because it looks best on me, but mainly because it's my favorite color. So let's go in with this color first. Oh my God, this is like, I'm triggered. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try that again. We're going in with our light pink, as I had said. Boom, and we are gonna go in for 67 rows. Change of plans as usual, so I actually ended up doing 81 rows for this panel. I needed it to be 9.5 inches tall, cause from my underarm to my waist is 9.5 inches, so I needed it to be 9.5 inches, and honestly, every time I make a, like, a gauge swatch, it's always wrong. I feel like I kinda have to like play it by ear, so. 81 rows total for this part, and now I'm gonna start doing my increases. Ooh, okay, I'm back. I took a little lunch break, and I had to put on my sweater, cause it's really cold in my apartment. Now we're gonna start our increases for the hips. I'm gonna do an increase for two rows, and then two normal rows, so let's do it. And I'm gonna be increasing till it's 68 stitches wide, so right now it is 58, so 10 extra stitches for my hips. I don't think I did a great job of filming that, but I just reached 68 stitches wide with my increases, so now I'm just gonna keep knitting back and forth for 16 more rows. First front panel is done. I'm a little scared. About the length I think it might be okay I'm just gonna go with it so I just did this I'm gonna do the other one off camera but right now I'm gonna do the skirt portion with you guys and it's gonna be super simple so basically I'm going to double the amount of stitches at the base of this so right now it's 
68 stitches so I'm gonna do 120 136 stitches for the bottom and then I'm gonna basically put two stitches in each stitch of this and it'll have like a little gathered like hoop skirt effect so I'm gonna cast on 136 stitches and I'm just gonna knit back and forth until it's T length that's like the length I'm going for so I lied so this machine only goes up to 130 stitches so I'm just gonna cast on 130 stitches and I hope it'll be voluptuous enough <laughs> again and I think I'm gonna go for 273 rows for this skirt. I might have to shorten it but it's fine. <laughs> It's like four o'clock, but I just finished the skirt portion of the dress. Really cute, really colorful. I hope it's long enough. I'm gonna do the other, like the back side of the skirt and the bodice part off camera, and then I'll meet you guys right back. Guys, it's the next day. Oh my god, <laughs> it's blindingly sunny. Um, it's the next day, it's four o'clock. I literally am so tired. I did not want to film like basically I want to work on this and I like really want to film and everything, but I'm just hitting that like four o'clock slump where I literally feel like I could like lay down on the couch and fall asleep and die and no one would care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I'm just like hitting that slump where I'm like, uh, like I'm so tired. Does this happen to you guys? Am I weird? Do you guys hit like two, three, four o'clock and you're like, there's simply nothing else that I can do for the rest of the day? Cause that's how I feel right now. But I decided to pull out the camera and just do the thing without thinking too hard about it. So I'm gonna set up my knitting machine and we are going to finish assembling those panels. the hips part back on the machine right sides facing out and then we are gonna put two stitches of the skirt part and every one stitch of the hip part and pull it through to like gather it basically and I'm gonna show you so let's pop this bad boy on the machine right now I actually got a stool for this now because literally like I would bend over this machine like this and just like break my back every time this isn't a Stanley I got it at Nordstrom Rack for $16, but low key, what the people were saying about a water bottle with a straw, kind of true. I've drank so much water, you don't need to hear this. Don't say Angabana, that's on my titties, okay? Now I have the bottom panel right here, excuse the horrible angle, and I'm gonna put it right sides together on this, but I'm gonna do two stitches per needle, and that'll create like the little gathered effect. Okay, as you guys saw, I got my skirt panel and my bodice panel on. I'm gonna pull all of these stitches through the bodice panel stitches so that they'll be attached. Skirt stitches are pulled through the bodice stitch and I'm just gonna secure them with some waist yarn. what it's looking like as you can see it's a little gathered not as gathered as I wanted so what I found with the crochet version of this dress is three stitches for every one stitch for the gather was too many and two is just right but for this I think three would have been better anyways first panel the dress is totally done and I'm just gonna do the exact same process on 
the other two which are on the floor here off camera and then i'll meet you guys right back for the next step which i haven't figured out what that's gonna be yet so brb okay other side's done i'm kind of loving how this one's looking a little bit more i think like the blue is showing off the gathering a bit more but now i'm going to secure the stitches i put waist yarn in with a single crochet and then i'm gonna remove the waist yarn and then i'm gonna mattress stitch both panels together so we're getting super close guys but first we have to put all this away okay ready before after <laughs> good morning guys it's currently 11 o'clock the next day and i look like shit and that is because i went to bed at 1 a.m because i went on a bike ride last night with a bunch of people and you know, for net shots were taken, et cetera, et cetera. I'm a little tired, but as you guys saw, I was mattress stitching last night and this morning and I finished one half of the dress. So this side is completely mattress stitched together and I literally love the mattress stitch. Like it's seamless love. It looks so good. So I just did this half of the dress. It's looking so cute. I think the length is gonna be perfect. I think it's gonna fit well. So I'm just gonna mattress stitch the other side with you guys on camera and kind of like show you how that works. And we're getting really close to finishing. This is so exciting. Also look at all these ends I'm gonna have to weave in. I just wanted to show you guys how to mattress stitch to provide some value to you guys in this video. So as you can see, mattress stitch is just like a way of seaming panels together that's seamless. And it is really simple. I have my yarn attached and basically you go into the stitch and then pull up the middle bump like so. And then you go to the other side, go into that stitch and pull up the middle bump. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth for a little bit. Okay, and then once you've done several rows, you can literally just pull. And that's literally it. So it's super simple. It is a little bit time consuming, but I feel like it's kind of worth it in the end to have like the seamless look. So I'm just gonna finish and then I'll meet you guys back. <laughs> getting crazy angles for you guys. Quick run break because I have no chill. Made some good progress, but now even though I'm literally so tired, I'm gonna go run my little butt off. So BRB. <laughs> that shit hurted. Moment of truth, guys, it's kind of beautiful. Hold up. Can you see this? Oh my God. Okay, so I just finished slip stitching both sides. It's so cute. The skirt is not as voluptuous as I wanted it to be, but I'm still okay with it. I still think it's like really cute. So the next step, I'm going to add two straps. I'm gonna do light pink for that. And we're almost done. I'm so excited. Let's make a strap. So I just made the first one. This is what it looks like. I decided to do like a crochet kind of like eye cord strap for this. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I do it. So I have like a little slip knot here and then we have a really long tail. You want your tail to be three times the length of the strap or whatever. You're making and then you just wrap the tail around your hook like that and then you pull through with the live yarn and then you just that's literally it just wrap it around and pull through I'm gonna chain 83 of these for the straps and then I'm gonna like try it on and do some judging and whatever boom okay just said 83 chains and I'm just gonna chain one with my live yarn and cut off and now we have two straps. I'm gonna just attach these off camera because I don't want to spoil the surprise too much, but I'll be right back. It's my lifestyle. Oh God. Ugh. All right. Hey guys. I'm acting crazy because I'm watching a Brittany Brosi video. So I just finished the straps. But can you tell because there's literally 5,000 ends that look like straps too. So I'm gonna weave in my ends, but I'm gonna do a little experiment and time myself to see how long it's gonna take. Hot tip, I use a pointy darning needle. I don't know if you can see it. It's like actually sharp and will make you bleed. Um, but I use it because it goes in between the yarn and the ends will literally never come out if you use one of these. So let's do it. I'm gonna time myself. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I just finished weaving my ends in and that took me an hour and 32 minutes. So now we all know how long that takes. 
Honestly, I thought it would take at least two hours, but this is every single end that I weaved in, so yeah. <laughs> okay, who's ready for a reveal, guys? This is what we made, guys! Oh my god, look how cute this dress is randomly! Like, okay, gown realness, gown extravaganza. I'm kind of in love with the dress. I love the color palette that accidentally happened here. I probably wouldn't have picked these colors, but I'm kind of obsessed with, like, the dark, cool tones and the pinks and the greens of it all. It's very fucking cute, honestly. It's, like, very gown-like. It's not as much giving the drop waist effect here because the skirt isn't as voluptuous, but I kind of still love how it looks like sort of like an a-line dress like lots of walking room the skirt has a little bit of a twirl <laughs> and i also added these little bows at the top which i think are so cute this one came out really well like this was the first draft of this entire dress this is what we made this is me knitting a dress in a few days and i had so much fun filming this video with you guys if you like tutorials diys and comfort girl things give this video a like and share it with your comfort girl friends i would love to have them here thank you guys so much again for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one